Hi, good morning, fellow traders. Just want to pop in here. I won't be on very long today because I do have an appointment. So I saw this one try, two tries yesterday, and I set it up for a short. It's now on my Fibonacci line, which is where I want to take it. So I'm just going to go in here. Uh, I have two things. I don't know what I have here. Okay, let me just get off that. So I'm just going to buy this back uh, right where it's at, 22.82, and get out. Oh, I forgot that. Um, it does take it out after. All right, so I uh, could have waited, though, for it to hit here, but I'm just good to go. Uh, it's hitting right here now on, if you can see my line, it's hitting right there on the support resistance line which is a good exit point right there so yeah i just took it i'm out i'm up 429 dollars from a swing yesterday because like i said i saw one try two try it, it hit my uh top fibonacci line which is also the support resistance line let me just draw a line just to sh prove that to you uh, let's go up here and I'm using Weeble and I did notice that I have a new subscriber welcome this is uh, just to give an idea this is actually geared towards beginner traders and just showing you my strategy how I got out of being a beginner trader and start making money I learned by that using technical analysis using Fibonacci retracement, VWAP, and making sure I have my support and resistance line set that I can make money and I have been making money ever since. So I uh, just want to show you that top yellow line is actually just above where I had had my support resistance line. So when I saw that it had hit it, if you can see the blue one was mine from yesterday, the stock went up to right here and um, that's why I I took it so the stock uh, popped up above my line but then I noticed that it actually was a better support resistance line and I saw one try here two try three try four tries it went down came back up went even higher one try two tries I got in with a short and um, now the rest is history $429 it's now 934 so let me just show you that again so we're watching this line here this upper line this upper line here actually that was a much more perfect I just did not think it was gonna get that uh, high um, because if you notice, I have other lines here that I thought it was going to hit and actually went beyond that. So, yeah, I saw the struggle here. It went down. So I knew that when it actually popped up again, that this was going to be it. Got in for a short, came out on my, actually, no, I got out here, right? That's what, that's what we saw, right? I got out here when it hit this support resistance line and it's heading down now to, fib line i bet i really don't have a lot of time here but i just want to see if it's gonna hit that fib line this fib line here could have waited but woulda coulda shoulda 429 dollars just after open within a few minutes what was it guy three minutes just by swinging this stock And I, I'm good to go for the day. So we came out here on this support line. It actually went down to this support line, if you can see right here. Let me draw this because you might not be seeing what I'm showing. Let's change this color. Oh, no, not that. Let's change it to that, make it a little thicker. Right, so it, it came down to here. And if you uh, 
really scrutinize your charts, then you can see all the support resistance level and um, you can just set up your exit there. But I like my Fibonacci and to this support line, we got out, uh, it hit this next support resistance line and now it's just consolidating right there. But that's not our concern. We already made our money for the day uh, and we're good. Well, we're not good. I'm good because I have to go. So, and look at that. That's another perfect M pattern, huh? So if you had seen this M pattern uh, pre-market, you saw this confirmation here. This is what I'm talking about. So beautiful M pattern right here. Came down, pulled back, bearish candle. You could have got in right about here. 2369 all the way down to 2212 you would have made uh, some good money right there so yeah you have to look for patterns in your charts just to get a edge up and make money I'm just trying to pass the time by watching this so it's just consolidating VWAP is now making a little curve right there so uh, there we go. So it's hit again. Let's see if it's going to hit my my fib just to show the power of fib here. And fib is 21.96. It's now at 22.14. It's now at 22.01. Looking for 21.96. And boom, pass it. Yeah. But and pattern at its best. All right, so it's it's sticking to the Fibonacci line here, thirty two point two, which is another uh, very powerful percentage point on the Fib. All right, so now it's just basically just sticking to that line. So. Yeah, just uh, again showing you the power of FIB, why I use these as my entry and exit points, uh, why I use my uh, one try, two tries, and there are other um, signals that I use. You can check out my other videos for those and, um, and other patterns that I use. And I come on here every day just to show my strategy and how I trade. And there it is, still bouncing on that fab line. All right, guys, so that's it for me. Lola Claire here, uh, a.k.a. Lisa in the chat room. I will catch you on Monday. Happy trading and all the best, guys. Remember, stick to your rules. Use and trust your technical analysis. Trust your reasoning. Make sure you have a reason why you're getting into a trade and um conserve that equity you know protect your equity especially if you're trading with a small account all right so that's it for me guys all the best